Today's video will hopefully be particularly useful for fellow Ariba owners and also small camper van owners. So let's get into it. Everybody ready? Good, then let's get going. a really really warm welcome back well it's a super quick video today to give you an overview of this thing which is the outdoor revolution sportline canopy and this video will be particularly of interest i guess to ariba owners and also uh, small camper van owners so sort of vw height because this is the low to midline version which fits both of those i believe there's a full caravan height version available as well and there's also the canopy which doesn't have the zip-in doors at the front and the back um, and there's a review of that on the Lost Weekends channel so Phil gives a great overview on their channel over there and there's a link to the description if you want to go and check out Phil's video on Lost Weekends. So as I said this is known as the Sportline Canopy but technically it's near enough a whole awning so usually when you say canopy you think something with no side walls or no front wall at least uh, so at least partially open to the elements but actually uh, this has doors all the way around so it's got these two great big doors on the side so the whole side zip open and the whole of the front zips open so you can use it just as a canopy but all of those doors are attached uh, so it's a matter of simply unzipping them and rolling them open and tying them back or if the weather's not so great then uh, you just use it in the normal way I guess the only downside is of course there's uh, quite a lot of aeration at the bottom uh, so there's no mud skirts for example uh, that's probably why they call it canopy rather than an awning but uh, plenty of pegging points uh, lovely strong webbing straps and guy lines as well if you need them and the reason I went for this one is that it, it fits very nicely on our feeling 425 so it sits just and just about between the windows uh, as long as I've got it along the awning rail properly and you can see up here that it's got the normal Kedar strip uh, to go in the awning rail it's also got a tube so you can fit it with a pole and a clamp method and it's also got straps with eyelets in uh, so you can tie it on for example to roof bars so it fits all sorts of different setups let's go and have a quick look at um, some online information to get some of the pictures that, that I don't have because as you can see it was absolutely pouring down the last time I had the camera out filming the awning itself so here's how it looks with its uh, curtains fully open so just rolled back and toggled inside and now let's have a little look at some of the other setups uh, so this is how it sits on a VW camper van uh, so very similar awning rail height to the Ariba and various versions of Ariba's and here's how it looks with all its doors toggled back so you can see this side one has been unzipped completely and then rolled forward and the same for the front one that all rolls to one side and so you get everything toggled back inside these front little triangle bits so all very tidy if you just want a sunshade and here we have the measurements so 280 at the front um, in width and then 285 along the awning rail at the top at the back and then with an overall depth of 240 so you can see works perfectly as a little porch awning for our Ariba and uh, also rather handily fits on the bus as well so that is good news for me uh, one awning and two vehicles to fit which is brilliant so here's just a little quick look inside so great sort of porch size awning uh, just for keeping a chair or two in and boots and so on just to keep the rain off whilst you get in and out of the door so it works brilliantly for us in that respect and I've been very happy with it as a porch awning so because it's got a pole in it's actually very lightweight and uh, you can see the nice small pack size it packs into here on the downside it does seem to condensate an awful lot 
Um, although it's well aerated because uh, it's got all those gaps at the bottom, it does seem to collect the condensation rather a lot, as you can see here. So all in all, very handy little awning if you happen to have an Ariba or a VW, or as I said, go check out um, Lost Weekend's video for the full caravan height one. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Wonderful to have your company. And I guess from me, it's bye for now. See ya.